Hey guys, I'm Riva. Welcome back to the channel. We got some new things in my faction. We got some goodies today. We got a new chapter of Proving Grounds. We got a ranked play update. And I know. Hey. Hey. Don't yell at me. We got backlash cards on the card market a day late. Undertaker did expire, so. Um, I keep telling you guys, I don't know if they're going to do what they did last year. What they did last year, they would come back with a live event for a part two, a final chapter. I, I don't know if they're doing that this year, but if they do, you can get Undertaker off the market. I got him, so he's not showing up. Let me go to my other account to see how much he is. So Undertaker would be 39,000 my faction points or 35,100 virtual currency if he comes back. I Again, I don't know if he is or not, but if they bring back the live event, there he is. That's how much he is. And yes, rank play was updated. It moves from a two-on-two -two with your men's division to a one-on-one -on -one with your women's division. And yo, we need we need some more cards. I'm gonna be using EO Sky. There's a handful of people with EO. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of EO against EO. The only amethyst we have is Lita. And on top of that, if you want to look at the badge Rabble Rouser, this Trish, the faction boss Trish, the only female with Rabble Rouser. That's pretty crazy. That is up to this point. Now, I'm going to go over Proving Grounds here in a second. But before we do that, we go to my collection. You go to rewards. We go to live events. We had a bunch of Amethyst loaded in. Uh, we don't know how to get them yet. But just a quick look because this Dusty Rhodes looks incredible, guys. A top level badge, a level 4 on Going In Hot, Sting Like a Be Slippery Eel, and Rabble Rouser. So pretty much starting with a signature and finisher just about with the Going In Hot and Rabble Rouser. You do your sig, you get another finisher. And as a payback, he's got resiliency. This card looks really, really good. Take a quick look at Damian Priest. Merciless Opportunist, one of the best badges you can have. A top level badge there. Payback of resiliency attributes. Boom, we go over to Die Jack. Now, he doesn't have Resiliency, but he does have Move Thief. That is a pretty good one. His badges, his attributes. Trying to fly through these. Natty gets a card. Payback of Resiliency. We take a look at her badges. Level 4, Space Invader, Endurance. Level 3, Sting Like It Be. Level 2, Quick Recovery. The attribute that excites me for this card, 90. A 90 on the Technical Submission Offense. That's very good. 88 stamina too, wow. Next up, badges on Tozawa, Born to Fly, Swiftness, Dive Bomber, Sting Like It Be. His attributes, he's got maxed out 99 for that aerial offense, aerial range. Maxed out 99 on stamina, agility, movement speed, recovery. Whoa, 86 special, 93 finisher. This card looks good, holy. I think it's all the training with Chad Gable. It, it, it has to be. <laughs> level 3, Slippery Eel, Energetic Opportunist. Level 2, Sting Like It Be and Dive Bomber on Blair Davenport. She's going to bring in Resiliency. I was hoping for like a Rabble Rouser on her or her or Natty or even Stacy Keebler. We do see a Stacy Keebler. Resiliency, a payback. No Rabble Rouser, but wow. Guys, reversals are going to make a big difference with Stacy Keebler. Top level badge for all the answers. Reversals, combo breakers, grab breakers. Build the stun meter on your attacker. And then reversals are also going to gain special because a level 3 on all we see it coming. That's awesome. Really good combination of badges. Level 2 pain train sting like a bee. 89 arm power. 90 on the leg power, of course. Card looks good. And you can find that under my collection. Go to rewards and go to live events. That's where you can find them. We don't know how to get them yet, but maybe tomorrow we get some more live events loaded in. Because as of right now... We do not have anything, but I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be another big day for my faction. All right, now the clickbait on the video, Proving Grounds, right? What does it look like? Uh, so we take a look here, Chapter 7, the WWE Universe. Let me get myself out the way. So in this, the big prize being an 87 overall Farouk, an Oddities card here for that shield. Seth Rollins, you get a Tactical Vest, and you get a Deluxe Extreme Pack. We take a quick look at Farouk. Very good. Uh, grapple offense, 82. Power submission offense, 77. Damn! Not bad. Oh, badges. Badges looking to so level 2. Energetic opportunist. Pain train heavy-handed. Payback. No resiliency on him, but an iron jaw. And for the oddities card, that will go into this set for the 2014 Persona card of Seth Rollins. Then we click inside of here. This is everything you can get. So from earning the medals alone... You get a deluxe pack for WrestleMania, Beast. We then move on to basic packs for Backlash, Punches and Promos, and Extreme. For this one, no pack, but you do get a Damian Priest, 84 Ruby. 
pay back a blackout, badges, and his attributes looking as so. Now for the first and second challenge, you don't have to do these, but you can get some tokens. Cosmetics, I do recommend side plates. Honestly, I, I could care less about the side plates, but some of these are worth going back and doing for those cosmetics. Cosmetics do count towards your collector's level. That's why I say that. So let's click inside of here, Rising Star. Five matches here, one-on-one. -on -one. We got Dragunov, Tiffany Stratton, Steel Cage against Braun Breaker, a ladder against Io Sky, a Hell in the Cell against that ranked play reward of LA Knight. We then go down to Outcasters, five matches, Last Man Standing, Bailey, Booker T, Farouk, Steel Cage Tornado Tag Match with Sammy and Jay. You then have an Extreme Rules against Santos Escobar and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. We got Rey Mysterio, Cody Rhodes, table match against Triple H, a triple threat here, and another triple threat here. Now we go to Betrayal. All of these will be tag matches. So a Tornado Tag, a Hell in a Cell, a Triple Threat, a Triple Threat Table, and another Extreme Rules Triple Threat here. More tag matches. We got The Rock and Sock Connection. Got a Hell in a Cell here. Two on two. Table Tag. Extreme Rules. And Supreme Leaders. No more tag matches on the very last one. All one-on-ones. Kyrian Cross, Bobby Lashley, Gunta, Roman Reigns, and Damian Priest. And of course, guys, if you want to watch the live stream, I'll put that in the description box. You can also just go to my channel, click live stream, click the one where it says playing chapter seven. So if you want to grind that out with me, the stream is there. Now I'm going to show you the packs. I opened up the packs on the live stream, of course, but this is what happened. Recording, say hi in the chat. This is going on the damn video. We finished Proving Grounds um, at, at just a incredible rate. <laughs> Here we go. It was fun, man. I enjoyed it. I wish they would. Ah, uh, come on, man. We get Lula. When did she pop up? My first pack is when she popped up. We have a backlash here, which is on the market. Dragon off. Damn. We get a wallpaper. Punches and promos. Oh, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Title in the background, we can't lose type deal, 2K. Oh my gosh. Bruh. WrestleMania, still don't have a Ruby. Oh, son of a... We had a lead a manager, 2K. I gotta get something, Beast Pack. Um, Sapphire, two Sapphires I do not have. The last and final, the Extreme. Lita. Damn! Look at Devon. And I did pick up like how much? 17,000? I made some some MFP out of that. I didn't pick up many cards though. What was I at? I was at 194, so 22,400 we picked yeah. up. Yeah, so those those were the packs. I didn't get very many cards, but Got some my faction points. I am up to 221,000, which is pretty sweet. I should be um, at least 300,000 when the new pack releases next Friday, uh, which is great, honestly. I did a deluxe 20 box. I got down to zero when I opened that. After that box, uh, well, first off, it went terrible. I didn't get a damn thing. I only picked up six cards. Uh, but the cool thing about that pack opening, I got about... 50 or 55,000 back my faction points. Then grinded weekly towers, proving grounds to get it back up. We're up to 221. Not bad. I'm going to be ready for that next pack. And that is going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. We hit 100 hours streamed in the month today, by the way, by doing this new chapter of proving grounds. That is awesome. Appreciate you guys. Peace out.